All right, to do number two, we have hook. Make it interesting, relatable, make it emotive and relevant, right? The next one, what? In a non-fiction book, people want to know what you're talking about. Is it sports? Is it music? Is it romance? Don't go around the bush too long, or your reader may be tired of playing hide and seek and leave you there. You will find yourself talking to yourself. So immediately after my book, in an example I did, I said I was going to talk about non-fiction book introductions, but I clarified that I don't mean only the thing called introduction, it's anything that's the first chapter. And I said I'm going to talk about five elements. It doesn't have to be long. You don't have to go into great detail about your entire thesis statement or all the things you're going to cover. But I at least just let them know the subject of your, of your book. In some cases, you might want to let them know exactly your argument. In some cases, just the topic is enough. But after you've hooked them in, just be very clear with them what this book is about. Short and to the point and early enough. Those are the two things that it's helpful to do with your what. Short and to the point and early enough. That's why I say it's the second element. Don't leave your reader wondering what you're writing about because that's not suspense. It's just confusion. Suspense is wondering what's going to happen next or how you're going to explain it or Oh, this is an interesting argument. I wonder if they can support it. <coughs> Not the same thing as, what is this book about? But if they don't want to learn about what you have to write about, that's OK. You'd rather that they put down the book and find the right book for them. You, if you're meeting someone for the first time, a friend, You'd rather at least meet them, know what they like, and decide whether you want to keep being their friend. As opposed to them dodging, 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 never meeting up, and you're like, what is this really about? So uh, one, one thing I thought of was when I went to a conference, there was supposed to be a meeting for people who had a similar experience of growing up uh, in Africa. I sat down in this meeting, and they went on for about five minutes before they got to the point that it's a meeting for students of such and such university. I'm in the wrong place. So I had to get up and go to this other meeting. Imagine if they had never said straight what the meeting is about. I could have been sitting for half an hour instead of finding the meeting I was looking for, right? Don't do that to your reader. If it's the wrong book, just let them find the book they're looking for. But if it's the right book, at least they know they're in the right place. Then they get excited to continue reading. So one, uh, one application for this, I, I also write poetry, including uh, spoken word poetry. And sometimes in poetry, people have no idea what you're talking about. Make it clear somehow. Uh, written poetry, I find, can be a little bit more deep and somewhat opaque. But spoken word poetry, if people have no idea what you're talking about, they stop listening. It's supposed to be a little bit more audience driven. So I've had writing workshops where the poetry coach would say, make sure that at some point in this poem, you, you say directly that message that you want people to have. So if your message is, this person showed me what it means to die well, just say it, just say it very clearly. Or if your message is, we are all broken and we all need um, people to be kind to us, just, just say it out clearly. Because sometimes you could be so metaphorical, so many images, and people are like, it's pretty, but I have no idea what she just said. <laughs> now, your reader, if they're a, a literary critic, you might not have to be quite as obvious, but at least somewhere, tell them what the poem is about. Know the literary it is. But the point is communication. If your reader doesn't understand what you're saying, you've not really communicated. But it's okay for your journal entry. 
Just keep your phone in your journal. <laughs> I hope I'm not being too harsh. <coughs> Tell your reader what you're talking about.